The day after I got arrested, and those little brown Gideons was in the jail, and uh, I looked at them for a whole day. But uh, I finally picked one up and and started reading it. I read Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and I got to Luke 15, uh, to the prodigal son. And by the time I finished reading the prodigal son, uh, my pillow was wet. I had been crying. I felt like the guy that was coming to the father, but I didn't know who that was. Um, it took two volunteers and a chaplain who saw more in Pastor Mac than the, uh, the drug addict the, and the criminal who showed up there. And so all three of them played a part in uh, pouring the Bible inside of me. It corrected me. Uh, it taught me how to live. They volunteered uh, their time to, to uh, pull something out of a man that he didn't even know he had inside of him. These two volunteers took their time to spend time with him every week for hours upon hours and just let him ask them questions. And so they wanted to vote on uh, getting one guy to preach every Sunday, and the guy selected me. And Pastor Mack was made the first pastor of Joseph Harp Community Church. I prayed and asked, Lord, why me? Why are you sending me over here? Why well, I got to do this? Uh, don't you have anybody else? He just kept saying, go, and I went. We started loving each other. It started growing. And to hear a DOC official describe it, he said it totally transformed the atmosphere of the yard. I was still using drugs in prison, but the moment I stepped onto that prison yard, I couldn't explain it. It was different. Where it used to be one of the most violent yards in the state of Oklahoma, it is now the most sought after yard because the atmosphere is an atmosphere of peace. And that's why we see a lot of incarcerated men in the state of Oklahoma wanting to be a part of Joseph Hart. Even the people that, that some of the crimes were committed against, they've reached out to me currently. And they're like, Connor, they're like, we just want you to know we've been praying for you. Pastor Mack, and decided that even though they were still in prison, um, they can still make an impact. But there are guys that are leaving here with their characters changed. If you really want to impact the world, pray about it and then watch your life change.